and welcome back to Judgment. Uh, there's a new side story, sub side case, waiting for us over here at the end of Theater Square. There's a, uh, this, this little, well, this big guy attracting a crowd. As you would. Let's say hi. Hmm? I hate sponges. Wool <laughs> boots. Mm. And a bold and trendy Ono shirt. It's the pride of Ono Michi. Ono Michio. So, Ono Michio is a, uh, I'm, I, I guess he, I, I'll say he's a recurring element that was introduced in Yakuza 6. Mm. Uh, he had a much stronger role there, uh, we'll say. Also, that game was fully voiced, so you could hear his, his little thing fully voiced. Mm. This time but, it's uh, Majima inside. Mm, I I think the answer is even better than that, honestly. But we'll get to that when we get to Yakuza 6. But uh yeah, needless to say, the person who used to be in that uh suit is no longer playing the role, and his replacement is nowhere near as good to fill the Fill his shoes. Well, after that, uh, once we, after after we see that scene, up over in the north part of town, over by Comro Hills. Oh no! It's Ono Michio with a knife. I mean, I've never trusted mascots, so. I don't quite know what kind of reaction you want out of me. The Ono Michio I know would never stoop so low as to use a knife. That's bullshit. The Ono Michio I know would never stoop to petty robbery. Shows what you know. I hope I remember this conversation uh, whenever we get to Yakuza 6. Excuse I me. will not. So yeah, uh, we should probably help out with uh, this whole thing. You know, do I, do I want to know about a bar that's titles made in girls? And uh, depending on you, how you want to think about it, no, I don't want to know anything further. <laughs> <laughs> I guess maybe the real disgusting part is if it's made by girls. But then, yeah, anyways, hmm. let's get back to the Sonomichio shit. <laughs> So the guy who was in the suit uh, quit after some verbal abuse from his boss. Fair. Hi. Excuse me. There was only one man who could truly fill Onomichio's shoes. Is it Jesus? No. Okay. Huh.
Oh, yeah. Uh, kid quit and threw the costume away, which... Well, you know, allegedly probably... threw it away. Oh, yes, you're right. We have to consider every I angle, which means he might not have thrown it away. A strange first for Yagami. <laughs> Well, anyways, it's a good thing we talked about this for about 30 minutes so that oh, this Onomichio guy can run away and have way more of a head start. Well, we did see him go inside uh, the arcade Charles. Huh? Which is a dead end. Is it, though? If not, well, we're tight with Higashi. He'll keep things uh, square for us. That's not true at all. Do you think the arcade being called Charles is a play on Charles Martinet? Is it's cabinets in there? No, the answer is no. I I would not have considered that angle. <laughs> huh. Because it's a thing to pass time? You do the fuck. Arcades are fun. Hi. Nayato. I'll have to beat every last one of you guys. Don't try me, I'll do it. I've destroyed all these machines before. And I do it again. It's cool, I'm tight with Higashi. He won't mind an, a little collateral. Nahiato. I was about to uh, question why the uh, the guy behind the counter didn't already call the cops, but he probably might he might be aware this is a Matsugane joint. So I mean, yeah, if he's behind the counter, <laughs> so maybe he really doesn't want the cops poking around. With our fists. The language of Mortal Kombat. I broke the Mortal Kombat machine last time. Damn it. They got Street Fighter the movie, though. I was gonna say, we've got King of Fighters, I guess. <laughs> yep. Oh, I broke that one last time, too. Damn it. Look, Higashi really shouldn't have put all the fighting games right next to each other in that corner mm. when I, uh, threw him there. We'll, uh, we'll touch back on this point when we hit Yakuza 6, but, uh, the city of Onomichi is actually a real place, which is... Which I was actually surprised to find out when I was playing Yakuza 6. Mm. Uh, because I, I've been so used to uh, virtual facsimiles of real places. 
Uh, there's also a cat somewhere here, but first, let's look at the costume. What the? I've always wondered if the Ono Michios ever use their Suspicious. pouches for anything. So there are more than one. Well, I just mean more of the people who wear the Ono Michio costume. Mm hmm. Hmm. What's missing from the Ono Michio costume? Hmm. always knew the internet was stupid. <laughs> I don't blame them though, like the original Ono Michio was just perfect. You're really talking this guy up. enough time to burn gloves down here? Yeah, I just burn apparel and arcades all the time. <laughs> ah! Can you imagine not playing Yakuza 6 and playing this game and being like, what the fuck is all this going on with you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is this is kind of a really weird one for uh, anyone who hasn't uh, experienced Yakuza 6 because a lot of Ono Michio's appeal leans really hard on uh, the Ono Michio from that game. Mm. It gets kind of weirder too uh, when Ono Michio gets referenced in Kiwami 2. Y you know, the remake of the game that was like 4 or 5 before 6. Mm. Bugging me that you haven't given the cat any attention yet. It's bothering me too, don't worry. I like how they're so sure that the gloves would be discarded, and it kind of makes me think that they didn't want to create a new model with extra gloves on. <laughs> They just said, screw it, we'll just invent a reason for the gloves to be gone. Alright, so that's it for the, uh, the, the costume. The cat's over here by the elevator, by the way. Like, why not just say, like, oh, the gloves are in the, the bag, or whatever. Actually, yeah, the, the gloves could be, uh, a glove pouch. Or, sorry, the pouch could be a glove pouch. Hmm. Suspicious. Did you see anything suspicious? Did you see anyone burning a pair of gloves? Like, nah, I just always sleep in the back. The kids are, are all just very nice and don't steal or anything. Hmm, Higashi will hear about this. All right, so let, let's go inspect the uh, suspects here.
loser. Oh man, he won out of claw Simple. machine. Hmm. And and lastly, the boots. Suspicious. Oh, over here by the trash can. Uh, there are some black sneakers that are paint covered. Hmm. Also, the trash can is clipping through the rug. <laughs> or the other way around. Are we supposed to know? Darn, I can't help but this. <sighs> but yeah, those are uh, the shoes that the uh, supposed Ono Michio was wearing. Hmm, this dude also has white pants. Doesn't seem too, uh, happy to be inspected, though. Hmm. Suspicious. And his shoes... Eh, they look pretty clean to me. Hey. I think it'd be cool if... Check the shoe sizes, though. Oh, and you compare them to the uh, the shoes in the bin. Yeah. Because if hmm. he's if the guy's actually booking it or anything, then like you're not doing that in, you know, oversized boots. Not well, anyway. You know, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. It's like I could have written this. If nothing else, mm. that'll rule out anyone whose feet are too uh. Too big for the shoes. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's it for this dude. Uh, two left. We'll start with, uh, this guy. Ha, oh, dude. He's, this guy knows exactly what I want in life. <laughs> Live near an arcade and go without shoes? Hell yeah, Suspicious. bro. <laughs> and then we go over the hallway and there's no bag hmm it's just the x-files theme song <laughs> i was thinking the same thing actually i'm trying to inspect this dude's pants but i don't remember there's uh hmm I'm trying to get i don't the, think i'm to get more than just his pants i think <laughs> what the? He doesn't have a uh, pants inspection thing. This guy, though, he's got white pants that are rolled up. Yeah, because one would imagine that if there was paint on the shoes, some of it would have touched the white pants. Hmm. Is that what that cardigan says? Someone's watched a little bit too much Scooby Doo. <laughs> Getting all their fashion tips from the wrong people. Hey. I'm, all... I'm not into that sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That seems really stupid. <laughs> well, now we gotta go check his sandals. There's a very specific point you have to check. It's like the back heel. Hmm. But also, I think I want to check his bag, too. I could probably be... $300 in change? 
Oh yeah, well, I mean, you need some of that for these video <laughs> games, right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't, you don't you don't know how much this dude spent on Super Gunman. Suspicious. Hmm? In case of robbery, please put on. So these sandals came uh from this arcade. I Yes, there might be some establishments that provide sandals for use when going to the restroom. I don't know. Yeah, but that still doesn't mean he can't roll down his pants. Yeah, that's true. Even one pant leg is fine. Like, and look, if she's really worth it, you'll just unroll and roll up your pants again. <laughs> I like how even yep. this guy's annoyed. Mitchio would have solved this case three minutes ago. Otomichio has a more direct way of uh, solving problems like these. Ah, uh, with the gun. <laughs> Just my kind of mask. Uh, direct and honorable. <laughs> oh, sorry, katanas. Eh, close enough. Or, or gun blades. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, now, now it's your chance to figure out, or, sorry, to unmask the culprit. It turns out it's the Popo guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of that. Yep. Yep. The sneakers are what I would have gone with, but I guess they're the most directly related evidence. I still can't understand why, of all the things, unrolling the pant leg is not one of them. Like, I guess the idea is that you could, like, stumble upon it and you don't get this great moment where you have the, ah, oh, this is what a detective in a TV show would say and shit, but like, come on. But yeah, one, one, uh, we show him the shoes, and then we establish that he, uh, he's the one who threw them away by pointing out that he had to change his shoes in a hurry. Yeah, obviously. Besides, if, if this guy had borrowed shoes, then presumably, like, the staff at Charles has his other shoes somewhere. So, why not, why would you not just immediately go to the guy behind the bar and just say, hey, this guy take his shoes from you? And where where is his pair? Hmm. God. This is such an intense scene. Yeah, I tend to react the same way too when people approach me. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Just, it's a natural defensive reaction. Oh, well, he did the honorable thing and apologized. We have to let him go. Surprise, surprise, he's in debt. Soto. I'll kill you for this. Then he, then he grabs the Oh No Michio Knight. <laughs> I mean, that's getting into the spirit of the uh, previous Ono Michio, but I think that's a little bit extreme. <laughs> Uh, 
This one was no easy case. Yagami, you suck. <laughs> Just a sigh of relief, like, oh, I can't believe I guessed the right guy. Oh, uh, so that bag had the money in it. And was his cut? Hey. For keeping uh... quiet? Well, <laughs> close. Oh, he's the debt collector. There you go. Uh, it was one or the other, really. Yeah. I should really see what happens if you if you click uh, go home. <laughs> Game mean, presumably, over. <laughs> presumably the uh. He can, the Popo guy would have complained about the money, and then Yagmi realized, oh, right, that. <laughs> Are you sure? When even the Popo guy's like, ah, oh yeah, right. <laughs> My money, the one thing I've been preoccupied this entire time. Four. just makes it look more suspicious. Come on, Canada, just admit that you blew 50,000 yen on video games in the last 10 minutes. Could have ever seen this coming. I feel like you'd get a better reaction if you asked people to raise their hand if they didn't see this coming. I feel like I've used that joke already, so that's why I didn't. Naturally, we uh we get into a little scrap to resolve this. Obviously, and coincidentally, we're just gonna like fight them into those little the twenty-five cent machines. You know the ones with the little balls. Yeah, have the collectible items. And like, I'm totally not gonna pick up like sixty or eighty of them. Get the entire set. You know, one of those things. Accidents happen and all that. Right. At some point, I just get tired of tiger trying to tiger drop, so... <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was, like, maybe some secret thing you were trying to show off. No, I just... You know me. I just really want a tiger drop. I haven't had my fellow tiger drops in a while. I mean, that's fair. There we go. Ooh, right onto the laptop. All right, now just make the debt collector pay for all the damage and we're good, right? It'll be those calling cards, oh. Nope, it is the money. Five hundred thousand, wow. Is, like, is that a lot that a Papa would be carrying at any one time? That's roughly equivalent to a uh, 5,000 USD. Yeah, but like, would a cash register at a Papa really have 5,000 in cash? I don't feel like they would. Yeah, because 5K is like, exceptional, exceptional amount. So it's like, even if there wasn't, I can't imagine that, like they they had this like in in a backroom safe either. Hmm. 
Well, I mean, in a safe, sure, but like getting access to the safe and all that is different. Also, like, for 5k, like, why would you ever... Why wouldn't you just be like, oh yeah, this doofus stole it. Anyways, your insurance will cover it. If I can, you mind, like, let me keep it, or better yet, like, he's a debt collector. He's just gonna collect later. Yeah. It just seems weird that this guy is, like, so gung ho on holding on to $5,000. Well, we wouldn't have this case otherwise, I guess. Well, I mean, Yagami could have just said, like, like, it's the only reason there's a fight sequence, is this guy chooses to steal the cash himself. <laughs> that, that statement is kind of a lie. The, fir the original Onomichio did kind of just put the suit on and wing it after being coerced into it. Like, he was damn good at it, but that does not change the fact that he actually did just kind of wing it. Well, you know, that's the problem with with uh, successors. So you have to build on that uh, prior legacy. <laughs> In a way, I kind of wish that uh, North American mascots were crazier. You know, it seems like the only interesting ones are in Japan. Yeah, nothing definitely... There's nothing that really catches your uh, attention quite like Ono Michio. Yeah, like the only ones you see in like North America are just for sports teams. And even then, it's kind of like hit or miss. Or, you know, the, the college kids at uh, Disney. Sure, yeah. But yeah, this is a... Uh... This is the last story we can tell, uh, Katagiri Sensei. <laughs> <laughs>